Welcome back to the Bible Says What? Today I will summarize Luke chapter 5, where Luke wrote about Jesus recruiting some of his 12 disciples, and where he performed healings and forgave a man of his sin. Jesus was teaching the people by the lake, and the crowd grew large. It grew so large that Jesus didn't have any room. But Jesus knew what to do. He saw a boat coming in from fishing all night. He asked the man named Simon if he could get in his boat and go out a little way so the crowd can see and hear him. Simon agreed and brought Jesus out from the shore. So Jesus taught the people. After he was done, he told Simon, why don't you go fishing? Put the boat in deep water and let your nets down. Simon said, we were fishing all night and could not catch anything, but because you asked, I will. So Simon did what Jesus asked him to do. When he did, he caught so many fish in the net that the net began to break. Simon signaled for the other fishermen there to help. They helped and brought their boat to assist. Both boats were so filled with fish, they both began to sink. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at Jesus' feet in the boat and said, Go away from me, Lord. I am a sinful man. He and his other partners in the business, James and John, were seized with amazement because of what happened. Jesus told Simon, Don't fear. From now on, you will be fishing for men. When they brought their boats back to the land, they left everything and followed Jesus. Jesus walked along and noticed a tax collector named Levi sometimes called Matthew, sitting at his tax booth. Jesus said to him, follow me. And Levi left everything and followed Jesus. Levi then gave a big reception for Jesus in his house. Levi invited all of his friends who were tax collectors too. The Pharisees and their scribes were watching this and they complained to Jesus' disciples. They said, why do you and your teacher eat and drink with sinners? Jesus answered them and said, People who are well don't need a doctor, but those who are sick do. I have not come to call the righteous, but I have come to call sinners to repentance. They said to him, You don't look religious. John the Baptist's disciples fast and pray. Our disciples do the same thing. But your disciples and you eat and drink any time you like. Jesus answered them and said, The bridegroom is here. You can't make the attendants fast while they are celebrating. There will come a time soon enough, though, where the bridegroom will be taken from them, and then they will indeed fast and pray. When Jesus was in one of the cities, there was a man covered with a flesh-eating disease called leprosy. When he saw Jesus, he fell down in front of him and said, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Jesus said, I am willing, be clean. When Jesus stretched out his hand and touched the untouchable man, the disease left him and immediately his skin was restored. Jesus told him not to tell anyone what had happened, but to go show himself to the priests and make an offering for his cleansing, just like Moses commanded. The man went and obeyed. On another day, when Jesus was teaching, a large crowd gathered around. Many Pharisees and teachers of the law were there too, from every village of Galilee and Judea. Some other men wanted to see Jesus too not for themselves, but for their friend who was paralyzed. They knew Jesus could heal him. But they couldn't get through the crowd, so they came up with a plan. They climbed the roof of the home Jesus was teaching in, and they ripped a hole in the roof. They let the paralyzed man down and laid him right in front of Jesus. Jesus saw the man's friend's faith and said to the paralyzed man, "Friend." 
your sins are forgiven. This caused an uproar with the Pharisees and the teachers of the law. They said, no one can forgive sin against God except for God himself. This man is speaking blasphemies. Jesus knew what they were saying. He said, what's easier to say? Your sins are forgiven or you are healed, get up and walk. Yes, the first one is easier. But I want you to see that I have the authority to forgive sins on this earth. Jesus looked at the paralyzed man and said, get up, pick up your stretcher and walk home. Immediately the paralyzed man got up and picked up his stretcher and walked home. All the people were struck with astonishment and began glorifying God because of what they just saw. And the religious leaders were left speechless. The most important verses in this chapter are Luke 5, 20 through 25, which state, And when he saw their faith, he said unto him, Man, thy sins are forgiven thee. And the scribes and the Pharisees began to reason, saying, Who is this which speaketh blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God alone? But when Jesus perceived their thoughts, he answering said unto them, What reason ye in your hearts? Whether it is easier to say, Thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, Rise up and walk? But that ye may know that the Son of Man hath power upon earth to forgive sins. He said unto the sick of the palsy, I say unto thee, Arise, and take up thy couch, and go into thy house. And immediately he rose up before them, and took up that whereon he lay, and departed to his own house, glorifying God. The thing I think the Lord wants us to understand after reading this chapter is that Jesus did many miracles, from healing the disabled and diseased, to causing some fishermen to catch so many fish, their boats began to sink. But more importantly, Jesus forgave a man for his sin against God. The Pharisees rightly said that only God can do this. And God wants us to see that Simon, sometimes called Peter, James, John, and Levi, sometimes called Matthew, left everything and followed Jesus. We must do the same thing too. If you are still holding on to something, just let it go and follow Jesus with all of your being. Are you ready to drop everything and follow after Jesus? If not, why not? What could possibly be more important or beautiful than Him? Well, why don't you turn from your sin right now and repent? Why don't you place your faith in Jesus Christ for salvation? Jesus humbled Himself and died on a cross as my substitute and your substitute, and the Father raised Jesus from the dead. Jesus conquered hell and death, and His return is near. God said that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, and if you believe in your heart that the Father raised Jesus from the dead, you would be saved. Why don't you place your faith in Jesus right now? Thanks for watching the Luke chapter 5 episode. If you enjoyed it, please share it with someone. If you want to join me on this long video journey, feel free to subscribe to the channel. See you next time.